Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. Tonight, what I got for you is a new bottle, um, somewhat new. It's it. This is one of those distilleries that's they source whiskey, they put it, they they take it to their uh, warehouses, they bottle it, and then they uh, put their label on it, and then. Uh, Send it out to the public, and uh, a, a lot of these are in like limited supply. Uh, this one right here happens to be called uh, Copper and Cask. I wish I could tell you more about the distillery because there's really not much. I went to their website, and they had uh, three pictures on their website. One of them was a picture of bourbon, this bottle right here, um, with uh, whoever had selected it. And then a picture of a rye with whoever had selected it. And then uh, some master uh, brand or, or, or bottling that uh, they did with a different colored label, uh, like a burgundy. And then they um, just had those three pictures and nothing about where they're located or anything like that. Uh, fortunately, they do put some more information on the back of this bottle to let me know exactly uh, kind of where they're located and they happen to be uh it's a company called latitude beverage company uh and it's located in rumford rhode island so yeah so that's that's the gist of uh what this company is uh it doesn't tell you what they offer it does have some pretty nice labeling if you look at the uh, bottle here let me uh, bring that out a little bit they do put some good information this was uh, actually uh, bottled in December 2021 but wasn't released until uh, early to mid uh, 2022 uh, the beverage and more company that i bought it from uh have it stamped as their their uh, i guess their pick and so uh yeah so i'm gonna taste it i'm gonna let you know what i'm getting uh this right here is barrel mi249 it is an indiana whiskey uh, from lawrenceburg this is the mash bill is at 70 percent uh, corn, 21% rye, and then 9% uh, malted barley. So uh, they give you some decent information. It, they tell you that it's a selection uh, for this uh, for for the beverage and more uh, company uh, located, you know, various spots here in California. Uh, and it and it says on here a single barrel project curating superior brand selected whiskeys always rare and never ordinary okay so uh we got some uh, mgp that's never ordinary and we all you know everybody likes mgp uh this is a four-year-old whiskey uh and it's non-chill filtered at 57.8 percent abv which puts it right at uh, 115.8 proof so pretty good proof point uh young whiskey um i happen to buy this for about thirty dollars so um they have one more bottle there i've been meaning to do some type of review on this um i heard tonight on a, a channel i won't mention any channels but um heard on a channel that uh, a lot of times uh they people won't uh, talk about maybe off-brand because this, this is definitely an off-brand whiskeys because nobody's gonna watch well uh, we I guess we wouldn't know about these if no if nobody does reviews on them so I'm gonna try because I do have a lot of off-brand whiskeys and um, I want to try to implement these as well as some of the well-known whiskeys and try to uh, while I'm doing this push to get to 200 videos uh getting up there i mean i did a video yesterday i did a video the day before or released one uh, the day before yesterday so 
just got to keep it going, keep it going, and uh, I'll get to 200 videos for you all. And I'm going to add some of these, some of these unknown whiskeys that you may pass by in the store and hopefully give you some good information on it. I mean, not really much to say other than it's uh, Indiana whiskey. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's from Rhode Island, uh, bottled in Rhode Island. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you know what I think. Here is uh, the juice inside here. Nice color, kind of light, you know, not, not too dark. Coats the glass very well. Hopefully it coats the palate very well. <sighs> De definitely that signature MGP aroma. Not too strong, very nice aroma. A uh, little bit of floral in there. Yeah, definitely, definitely really light on the nose. Not too much sweetness. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't mean that it's going to be kind of dry because it is a high proof at 115. Well, the only way to find out is to check. So cheers, everybody out there. Don't forget to hit uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, appreciate it, everybody who's, uh, who's, who's uh, joining me in this uh, quest to 200 videos. Um, I only have 99,400 more subscribers that I need to get to 100,000. So... Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed so far and I appreciate everybody who uh, who's taking this journey with me. Cheers everybody. A lot of corn. A lot of corn on the tongue, on the palate. It does spread really evenly though as far as the oils. I was I was thinking there was going to be a lot of drying because it's young and at 115. Um, you know what? I would probably put it up against that uh, Colonel's uh, Hard Hardens Creek because I have tasted it before and I've been saying that I got to find a whiskey to put it up against. Man, this is pretty close to that flavor profile that I was getting on this because it's so high in, in, in corn contact. You get a lot of corn and it's a little grainy on 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 the palate. Mm. Definitely get some of that light oak. I'm gonna go in for another drink. Cheers. Definitely a nice zipper. Um, not bad. Uh, for thirty dollars, I would definitely take this one over that Hardens Creek Two Year. With with almost the same type of profile as far as flavor wise. Maybe a, even a little bit higher uh, proof. I got to check on the proof on that, but I won't do that right now. But yeah, so um, for me, this is a thumbs up. I like it. Uh, nice flavor. If you like that sweet cornbread, some honey in there. Uh, just a pretty straightforward, light oak. Just some, just a good sipper. Um, not too bad. Uh, not great. And I can see the the, the, the price point at, at what it is. Rare whiskey, <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't go, go that far. Always rare, never ordinary. Uh, ordinary, hmm, maybe. Simple. I would call it a simple, uh, nice, sweet, easy, smooth drinker. And um, I would recommend it if you saw it out there. Uh, I, I would say yeah, thirty dollars, easy. Um, but yeah, so that's my take on it, folks. Uh, appreciate everybody again. Uh, this was just a quick and easy, uh, review on copper, copper cask, copper and cask. Uh, hopefully they, uh, maybe, maybe come out with some more information. I, I guess their, uh, website is under construction, but they have like no information on that thing. Just like I said, like three pictures and then, uh, of three different bottles. So it's kind of weird. Uh, but they are just a bottling company. They're not really, I don't think, they're, they're definitely not a distillery. But, uh, yeah, so there you have it. Uh, comment if you've had this. Let me know what you get. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if uh, I'm crazy for liking it. Uh, and uh, we can uh, debate that uh, in the in the chats and stuff like that. So, But um, I like it. It's fine. $30. It is what it is. Appreciate you all. Have a great morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and have a great night.